Four years ago, I told Brittany we should sign up for another volleyball team to, at the Naughty Pine and Cheviot. TJ was one of our teammates and a pretty decent player, sometimes. <laughs> we played the whole season and on tournament night, it was the first time Brittany and I stayed after the game and hung out. I instantly knew TJ was into Brittany. I mean, hardcore into Brittany. And I even teased her about it on the way home. To almost AM drinking. <laughs> I have to admit, though, the first time I met him, what will I do with this guy, you know? <laughs> I thought, gee whiz, he, he's a brain, he's, he's an engineer, and I, I'm just a stupid old country boy. <laughs> I said, my gosh, what am I going to do here? So after looking at him a little bit, we got to talk and seeing what he did, which was way over my head. And then I did find out, you know what? The guy drinks beer. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Wow. Oh, girl. So happy for you. Don't make me cry. Come on. <laughs> we talked about this. <laughs> I know we did. <laughs> well, thank you. God, you look beautiful. Yeah. Well, after that, I knew everything was going to be okay. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, we are looking forward to blending these two families together. TJ, this is now your wife, but you know what? She's still my little girl. <laughs> so, congratulations. Congratulations. Lift your glasses up, guys. Thanks, TJ. Hi. Hmm. Don't cry. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you. Aww. I want this team up here. Yeah, there we go. I like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, over the last 15 years, we've been close, both figuratively and literally. No, but in all seriousness, I just want to say something here. And, and I genuinely mean this. If you ever need anything from me, I want to make a promise. I will always be there for you. And Brittany, I want to promise you something. If TJ ever gives you any trouble, call me and I'll set him straight for you. I promise. And it's with that that I'd like everyone, please, to raise your glass. And I'd like to give a toast to the bride and groom. To always being there for each other. Well, you look nice. <laughs> Don't ease to that. <laughs> I thought it was all my imagination. But I feel lightning in my circulation. The next day, Aaron had texted me and asked if Brittany be interested in going on a date with TJ. And without even asking Brittany's digits, I handed those digits over. You have genuinely made these last four years the happiest of my life. I promise to be beside you as you cheer on the worst soccer team in the major leagues. <laughs> I promise that you will be as important to me as coffee is in the mornings. And I also promise to pay attention to the expiration dates in the fridge. <laughs> Most importantly, I promise to love you more with each passing day and to respect you for all the days of my life. I honestly believe that I would find you in every lifetime. You truly are my favorite person. Brittany, I promise to care for you when you are sick, comfort you when you are sad, warm you when you are cold, help you when you are in need, and ask for help when I need it, and sometimes when I don't. I also promise to be serious only when necessary, 
and to make you laugh always. You push me to be my best, even when I procrastinate. Your smile always brightens my day and reminds me of why I fell in love with you. I will love you and Sophie and Sydney, always and forever, and I can't wait to be your husband and start the rest of our life and family. Now is tradition. There's good ships, there's wood ships, there's ships that sail the sea, but the best ships are friendships and may they always be. Cheers to the bride and groom. I'm happy to pronounce you husband and wife. You make us the bride. Woo!